A 23-year-old Dallas woman is making an incredible recovery after she was critically injured in a hit-and-run crash back in February. Cameron Herridge has been on a ventilator for nearly two months, but this week that changed. The crash injured five people and killed Cameron's college roommate and friend, Sarah House. This week I sat down with Cameron's family for an update on her condition. And he said it would last six hours. He was out an hour and a half. And when he first came out, I just knew she was gone. I just knew it. <laughs> because he was out so fast, you know. But it was good. It was, you know, it was good news, not bad. Every time Shirley Campanello watched her daughter be wheeled into surgery, she prepared for the worst. From heart surgery to brain surgery. 85% of people live through that. Then she had surgery on her aorta. 23% of people, you know, die from that. So 98%, she wouldn't have made it, but she did. Now she's pushing aside those numbers because 23-year-old Cameron Herridge is defying the odds. Cameron came off the ventilator this week, a milestone doctors at Methodist Dallas didn't expect. Just amazing how God has worked through all of this. On February 11th, the recent Texas Tech grad was in a car full of friends when they were struck from behind while waiting at a stoplight in Dallas's Trinity Groves neighborhood. Dallas police say a Ford pickup driven by Carmen Guerrero caused the chain reaction crash. According to investigators, Guerrero took off on foot wearing a small black dress and white clubbing shoes and she was arrested more than a week later. This is a photo of the vehicle Cameron was in where the back seat is completely crushed. Cameron and her friends were rushed to the hospital, but her college roommate, Sarah House, was killed. It's an immense loss Cameron still doesn't know about as her friends stop by and visit. You could see the doubt in her eyes is why is he coming to see me, you know, without Sarah? You know, and we really feel like Sarah's just pushing her along. Cameron still has a long fight. She has a trach tube down her throat to help her breathe, and it's still unclear the full extent of the brain damage, requiring her to relearn even simple motions. Move your left hand without us being like, this is your left hand. But her family is holding on to the fact one day Cameron will get to go home. And we've been told we're not. <laughs> I mean, you know, we were told by several people that this is best they can do. I'm, I mean, they were pretty sad that she'd be dependent on a ventilator um, with or without that surgery. So it was just kind of hope. That's all we had. Now Cameron will spend at least two more months at Methodist Dallas before she is then moved to a rehab facility. As for the suspect, Carmen Guerrero, she remains in the Dallas County Jail this evening. I reached out to her attorney multiple times this week for any comment, no response.